Today, I'll be heading to Kaohsiung, estimate 120 km. A good initiative by the Taiwan government is where their police station have bicycle pump for cyclists. When planning a ride in Taiwan, do budget time for traffic light stops because there are lots of traffic lights. On Route 1, you see traditional old train station on the way. I came across this Ovaltine malt drink. Surprisingly, it's nicer than those normal chocolate drinks. Reach Shenong's home. This is a lotus farm with a variety of lotuses for you to view. This is one of the popular tourist attraction places. You can see lots of bus ferrying tourists here. Interesting thing is that fish eat this lotus plant for its food as well. Okay, charge up before moving on. We have seen paddy field, corn field, herbs and veg field and now tomato field. Fishing seems to be a favourite pastime here. Whenever you go to this river or sea area, you will be able to see people fishing. This is another park along the way with a huge gear and you can actually sit inside. another small cultural spot next to a sugar factory. This is an elevated walkway where people can walk on the top and enjoy the view of plantation below. Next stop is Tainan City, where we will visit the Tainan Confucius Temple. Here are some tips for you when you're doing refill for your rides. High Life and 7-Eleven both accept Visa card and have toilet. Family Mart's toilet are locked and they only accept Amex card. This is Tainan Confucius Temple. It's actually a small square area. Ticket purchase is required here at NTD 40 per entry. Okay, lunch time. Now to try out Tainan's local food, which is the fried eel noodle. And not missing out, their popular local dessert shop as well. Their multi flavor cubes ice cream is interesting. It's like sticky, sticky ice cream. And the other ice cream, the peanut ice cream, that one is very flavorful. In Taiwan, you see mobile advertising using van. But in Tainan, you can see mobile advertising with scooters. Heading to Kaohsiung now and stopping by the Soya Street Museum on the way. Reached by slightly after the closing hour. The person in charge was so kind to allow me to have a quick view of the area. Here they do a similar setup of stalls that you can see in Gangnam Festival that happen three times a year. At six, it's already dark. Heading to Kaohsiung now, another twenty km to go. Here you can see why cycling in Taiwan takes longer time because there's lots of traffic light. Take it easy when stopping and starting at the traffic light because it will take lots of energy. As each stretch have ten or more <laughs> traffic lights. 
and be careful of motorbike flying through and also cars some of the cars will come to this inner lane when they want to turn reached the hotel and now heading to the night market for dinner Interesting mini arcades in the night market Total distance for today is 132.22 km with 248 meter elevation. From Chiayi right up to Kaohsiung.